Welcome back to the 2021 PJ Championship here at the Ocean Course in Kiowa Island, South Carolina. We are joined by Bryson DeChambeau. Bryson opened with a even par 72 today. Bryson, quick start. Uh, then you had a rough patch there. Maybe talk about what the back nine, which was your first nine. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was uh, not easy out there. I wasn't swinging at my best. Um, but I was putting it well, and I made a couple birdies early on and then just misjudged the speed on 13. Um, you know, I was unfortunate and then misread it coming back. Um, 14, wait, am I getting that right? 14, no, 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 12, was that right? No, 12, 13. I'm all out of sorts. It's it's a lot uh, of wind out there it's and right heat. right behind you if you need it, up on the Is scoreboard. It? Look up top. There we go. Yeah, yeah, 13, that's right. Three put at 13, then 14. Kind of came about from, you know, just not making a, a good first shot. 15, hit two good shots, just misaligned the drive on 15, hit it too far left, and then... Didn't get it up and down. 16, misjudged the wind on the third shot. Um, you know, and there you go. It's a quick four bogeys and off and running <laughs> after a good start. But for the most part, I, I stuck my head up high and kept it high and was able to finish strong on the front nine, play really well. All right. Let's start at number three, please. Uh, Bryson, how big a t test is that, not only physically and technically, but mentally? Yeah, mentally, you have to show a lot of resolve out there and – mental fortitude to just push on when things aren't going well. Luck isn't going your way. You aren't getting the best breaks and hitting great shots, hitting great putts, just nothing going your way. Um, you have to be willing to step up and go, you know what, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to execute the best shot I can here. And that's what I was able to do in the back nine. I got a couple fortunate breaks, a couple putts didn't, didn't go in that probably should have gone in, you know, and uh, could have turned a, uh, I just shoot, it could have gone four over and I could have been four under today. Uh, let's zoom out for a call. Lucas, you're up, sir. You're with Bryson. Hi, Bryson. You speak of that mental fortitude. Just how big is it to just finish off the front nine the way you did heading into tomorrow? Yeah, it gives me a lot of momentum. I, I think that uh, my front nine, which is the back nine, was not the way I was, was trying to finish it off and just didn't really get anything going the way I wanted to in the back nine, which is the front nine. I was able to push through the first few holes and uh, played a great second hole. Uh, seventh hole really well, made a great birdie on eight and uh, almost made a birdie on nine. And a few holes I could have had birdies there as well. But, you know, for the most part, I just kept my head down, focused on hitting middle of greens and two putting. Uh, Alex on nine. Most people talk about your driving prowess, but really it's all about your ability to use the putter. Would you say that your driver let you down today or was your putter that let you down today? Well, the strokes gained would say that my putter let me down today. Um, and my iron play wasn't terrific either, but uh, I kept him in play with my driver for the most part on the front nine, my back nine for the day, and just didn't didn't really take advantage of too much. Um, after I had a birdie birdie, <laughs> pretty much a birdie birdie start, uh, I was two under through a few holes, and you know hopefully I can correct those little mistakes on the uh, tee box and on the fairway, and hopefully I can play well and keep it in the middle of the greens. The, the realization that. Uh you, as you said, you could have been four under or four over today. Yeah. Uh, are you glad that at least you got it back to some place where you're still in touch with people? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think three under is leading right now. That's uh, it's really nothing out here. And getting to four over is really nothing out here either. I mean, it's it's diabolical, and you got to be on point every single hole. And it, again, like I said, it's about mental fortitude and making sure you're missing in the right places if you can. Eleven. Just wondering if you could elaborate on why you say you feel so out of sorts right now. Oh, the wind just kicked my butt, and uh, you know it's heat, hot, um, just grinding out there. It takes a lot out of you. I mean, you know, working really, really hard to hit every shot the exact way I want to, and you know, then it doesn't happen, and you got to be comfortable with it and going, okay, how do I get up and down? And it's windy, and you're over a four footer. Wind's blowing really hard. You think it's going to break, and then when the wind stops, it's not going to break, and it, it's all just a a really difficult um, thing that you got to got to control out there. It's a lot of work. How long will the rain session be? Hopefully not too long. I mean, I want to get out of here pretty quickly, but, you know, Chris and I are going to work on some stuff, and hopefully we get something, something good for tomorrow. All right, we've got time for a couple more. Uh, five and then eight. Bryson, how tough is it to gain any momentum or consistency out there with you know, the wind and the, the difficult course conditions and, and the winds changing on, you know, the complete opposite direction on certain holes? 
Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, you play nine holes downwind, nine holes into the wind, and sometimes it's very difficult to gain momentum with uh, the pin locations where they were today. Uh, you barely missed it in the rough, and you got no chance to get it onto the green. And then um, some holes where you just hit a bad shot, and it kind of comes off the slope right next to the hole. So it's, it's just, it's all up in the air right now, and it's whoever stays the most patient out there is going to do really well. Okay, let's wrap her up. Eight. Preston, I actually wanted to follow up on something that, that Alex asked. Um, where are you physically? You said yesterday that you kind of reached your physical limitations. You've obviously been yeah. pushing yourself so hard uh, in the gym over the past year. So yeah. where do you feel fatigue-wise? Or are you close to a point of exhaustion? No, I'm not, like, at wit's end or anything. I mean, this is stuff I do every week. I've, I've worked way harder um, at different points in time during my career. But... You know, this golf course takes it out of you. This is the most difficult golf course that I've played on tour. And that is uh, a straight-up fact for me. And that requires a lot of energy. And I think just, you know, practice rounds, working hard on my golf swing, getting the putting right, trying to figure out how much the wind is affecting putts, all that. You know, and then trying to work out after and, you know, not getting eight hours of sleep sometimes is, is it all adds up for sure. All right, Bryson. Well, thank you for coming thank you. in. Uh, enjoy your afternoon. Thanks. Appreciate it. Play well tomorrow.